hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel for another video another hitter out the park we're gonna be talking about ray j okay if anybody know who ray j is go back and look at moesha's videos brandy his sister uh she pretty much uh got him on television and uh that's pretty much it and he's been pretty much in her shadow ever since then but what's going on with ray j in the news they're talking about he has pneumonia okay pneumonia and they're actually saying it's not the kind that's um contagious and i'm like when did pneumonia ever become contagious unless you coughed or you know, uh, in the vicinity of somebody else and you're spreading your germs through airborne, uh, you no know, sneezing or coughing and they're like really close to you, really proximity to you and then you can give it to them that way. I don't know. But they also saying that he got a tattoo of his uh, sister Brandy on his arm, which I found kind of weird. You know, because Brandy is still alive. I mean, it's a big old gigantic tattoo. Y'all can see it. Uh, I don't know what's going on with him. He's kind of weird acting these days. I'm like, are you getting cloned or something, uh, Ray J? But he's also supposedly be getting um, a divorce for the third time. I'm like, put a fork, spoon, knife, and the napkin on the steak. Is done. Yeah, that's the the tattoo. I'm like, did he put that with a magic marker, permanent marker, or is it really a tattoo? Because that's kind of, I don't know. Their whole relationship is kind of weird. And it almost seemed like they were just, I don't know, bad spirits or something. Because Brandy hadn't been too well with her look when it comes to, she had a car accident. She, uh, it was a fatality of somebody. But it was rude, her fault, but it was, like, not her fault in a sense, if you, if you kind of get where I'm going with it. And Ray J, he's just kind of suspect. Um, he was dating Whitney Houston towards the end of her life, and her, the ending part of her life, her demise. He started hanging out with her, and he's doing the same thing with Wendy Williams, y'all. I'm like, is he the death angel or something that comes, swoops down? To the um the host that is getting ready to die i mean he like he spins it's like he's the grim reaper or something of uh, these dope fiends and has been celebrities um because he was seen with wendy williams i'm like what is you know he ain't dating these folks they try to make like he dating them but he ain't dating them it's just really weird because uh, Wendy definitely has had her spiel in the news lately with her canceling her premiere of her show. And it seems like she really wants to, or somebody wants us to think she really wants to cancel her whole show altogether and just end it. I mean, definitely she's been on TV for a long time. Gossiping about other people's stuff. And then she even did uh, some, a story on uh, Whitney Houston coming towards the downfall of her life and career uh, and you know again Ray J was like the deaf angel you know because she didn't live too much longer from these last photos of her and Ray J going about or over the you know on the town and stuff she was at her very lowest and you know quiet as a kept lies I'm gonna speak it out it was like he could have been her handler her uh don't push her part where she, she got medicated through him and his contacts. Same thing with Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams is allegedly uh, going through some withdrawals of the alcohol. Uh, she's been stressed out. Mostly social media is saying in the streets um, that she's very upset that Kevin really did leave her for a younger woman. Had a baby by her and he's living his best life. I don't know how true that is because on one uh, hand that was said to be like that and then on another hand I saw um, on YouTube somewhere somebody did a video of uh, Kevin supposed to have moved to Florida uh, and started him a little restaurant or a club or 
some type of business. Uh, and he's dating somebody else. So I'm like, hey, he dumped Wendy and the mistress? Ooh, Kevin Hunt is something to be dealing with, huh? But anyway, uh, a lot of speculation is going on that Wendy just is not handling it real well. Uh, we She thought, or we all thought she was getting better. But it don't seem to be working out for her in that aspect. But yes, that is his current wife that he seemed like he'd been divorcing forever and ain't gone nowhere. I'm like, just give it up. Give it up. Put a fork in there too. Just stay with her. Y'all just uh, sleep in different bedrooms and interact with each other as little as possible and just stay under one roof, okay? But I doubt he will get a divorce. Because he don't want to pay child support. He probably don't want to pay alimony either. Because he doesn't have to keep her in the laps of luxury or what she was accustomed to. Alright, but let's get on into this story that um, Madame M Minor wrote out. Uh, Tanya Hudson uh, wrote a little article up on the, through the distribution of uh, the magazine of Madame Minor. Uh, she titles it, Ray J Battling Pneumonia at Miami Hospital. Okay, Ray J revealed that he is in the hospital battling pneumonia. And sadly, no one has been with him through this difficult time. Well, of course not. We have COVID out there. We have Ovid. And they're not letting you in the hospital in case that you may be contaminated. And you're going to bring it in. And then they're going to contaminate you and... Probably lock down some wings of the hospital. They don't want all of that. So, yes, Ray J, you old enough. You don't need nobody there with you. You can Skype. You can use telephone. They can keep in contact with you that way. But going back to the article, it said a loving hip-hop star, Hollywood, unlocked that he has been in a Miami hospital and hasn't gotten a visit from his loved ones. I've been in here all by myself for a week, he said. No family members came to see me, not even my wife. When his family did arrive to the hospital, he shared an update in the comments of a Hollywood Unlocked post. Now, I'm just going to say a sidebar. You can't stay nowhere by yourself and you're a grown-ass man. Are you kidding me? Don't nobody want that stuff that you got? They want you to get well before they can come see you. And preferably, preferably they probably want to wait till you come home. Got a, a clean bill of health from the doctor. And then they want to come with a mask and visit you. Okay? But you shouldn't be salty, Ray J. You shouldn't be salty. But going back to the article, it said, God is good, he wrote. All the time, I would say. Family with me just can't be in here. Too much sickness. He told TMZ that when he first went to the hospital, he was placed in the COVID-19 wing due to his symptoms mirroring those of the virus. After having five COVID-19 tests come back with negative results, he was moved to the general population. Like he in jail, general population. They use that word for prisoners. Okay, but I'm, I'm not going to talk about this lady's uh, writing her article. Okay, but anyway, it said he admitted that at first he was scared about his state. I thought it was over, he told TMZ. I started praying and knew God is good, so I just kept praying. The father, too, was open about his status, saying he is still getting oxygen and has difficulty taking and breathing. I mean, talking and breathing. He said when he wakes up in the morning, he feels good, but within 30 minutes, that feeling fades away and he feels worse. He's been hospitalized since October 2nd and hopes to be released by the weekend. And I want to say so bad, right, Jay? <laughs> Man, when you're sick, when I've seen people that have COVID and they sick, they ain't on social media, son. They're not on social media. They'll talk about it after the fact. Or the ones that, I guess, they've been given the Bill of Rights of uh, they ain't going to make it. So they feel like, okay, we'll just go on and do this little video telling people to get vaccinated or those who don't want to get vaccinated, rethink it because... That's what they thought, and we see how that went for them, how well that went for them, because they're on death's door. And depending on their ailments, they may not be coming back from death's door, so they might be getting their last will and testament read to them. So, you're not in that situation, so let's not bark up that tree if we don't necessarily have to be there. But yeah, that's all I have for this video, y'all. I just want to say dang. It ain't none of my business, but I just wanted to talk about this situation that 
how is it that Ray J is at the center of both demises of Winnie Houston and now it seems like he's partnering off with Wendy Williams. Okay? And then you got him entrapped with the situation on divorcing his wife for the third time. It seems like it's getting there. It's going to be completed. It's going to be the finale. And then either she back up and want to give it a second, a third, fifth, fourth try. Or he want to do that. And I'm like, he looking like a little nun or something sitting up there like that. I, I don't know what, what he's doing and why he's dressed that way. It might be the style I'm just not with. Maybe because I'm a seasoned woman. It just didn't look right to me. But it looked like he finna go do some martial arts. So he's finna go do some yoga poses or something. But yeah, I guess this is him in the hospital. Uh, looking all, you know, famished as well as drained. But then he has all this jewelry on. So it kind of like defeats the purpose of is he truly was at death's door. Is he truly sick as, as well as he say he is. You know, is it just for uh smoke and mirrors is it for show and you want people to feel sorry for you or are you really sick up in there you know and then you sit up here and get a tattoo of your sister like she's gone transitioned from this world or something and you're just probably trying to pay homage to her because i'm just I'm, i don't understand why and maybe it's not for me to understand but it's just mind-boggling that you would get that big old tattoo with your sister's name on it okay that's weird the brand is weird too but i don't know i don't, I don't understand it but um uh, maybe it has some symbolic meaning some numerology in there that's telling us something i mean hopefully brand is not trying to sacrifice her, her little brother to be a part of my fame fortune and being a smaller fish pond a fish in a fish pond uh, whether, you know, she's not going to be able to come out because people going to be trying to just get at her, get with her. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> I mean, that's what happens when you want that fame, fortune uh, type of lifestyle. You kind of put yourself in a fishbowl and you pretty much can't live a normal life anymore. Um, but yeah, that's the little photo. He's out there with Wendy. You know, this was a better picture of Wendy when she was kind of looking kind of hey, um, healthy and stable versus, you know, the demise of her, you know, walking around in the street with some hospital gown socks on. Or she's being wheeled around in a wheelchair and see that's her, that's Whitney and him, um, Ray J, I guess coming from a party or whatever. I have no idea. And whether him and Whitney slept together, had a little tryst here and there. It's not really our business if it did. Maybe he liked it. Oh, the women. I don't know. Maybe she reminds him of his mother. Who, who knows, okay? And then, you know, older women like young meat, too, sometimes. So maybe Whitney was trying to be a cougar. And he was accessible at being very handy at getting her what she needed to enjoy herself for her to relax. So, I, I don't know. Push her. Pam, Handler, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? We can all speculate, but we really don't know. But we can get down in those comments and we can talk about it a little more if y'all have an idea of why, you know, let's Ray J over to the right touching Whitney's casket like they really had a relationship. And then that's when he was with her. Maybe they were going to a war show or I have no idea. You know, it seems like Whitney was dressed to go to a court order of some form dealing with Bobby Brown. But I, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. So we just keep raising up in our prayers, you know. One way he's saying he's being taken out. You know, he thought it was his last time on this earth of ours. And then he's like, well, I'm going to be ready by the weekend. I'm going to be fine. They don't gave me, you know, the, the green light. I'm cool. I'm like, so what is it? Are you cool or you're not, Ray J? Are you falling out? Uh, you you going out the world or what? What you need? What what what, what you talking about? Because on another hand, you talking about you getting divorced for the third time, which you know how they say the little boy who cried wolf too many times, and when it actually happened, nobody really cared or believed it. So that he was like, 
ass out of luck kind of sense. So I don't know. I'm like, hey, if you don't try it, it ain't working. And y'all done got here three times talking about y'all want to get rid of each other. And y'all want y'all lives to be separate from one another and just co-parent. Uh, why y'all just don't end it? You know, what, what's, you know, it doesn't seem like y'all have a lot joined together unless she's trying to get a lot from you and you're not trying to hear it, Ray J. So, all right, just throw prayers up for Ray J. Hopefully, uh, he gets well soon, get out of the hospital and stop hanging around in them streets so much. Wear a mask. If you ain't got vaccinated, I guess get vaccinated. If you're going to be out there in the limelight. Especially Miami. Of all places. Everybody's out in Miami. Okay, doing what they do. Some of them lying, saying they got the coat up. They got the COVID shot. And got probably fake vaccination cards. Showing them as proof. Knowing they ain't had not nailed one shot. Okay. But that's all I got, y'all. Y'all get it on in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about Mr. Ray J, you know, sporting this brandy tattoo everywhere. And then some time out, uh, I guess paying homage to Brand. Oh, she ain't finna try to sacrifice him. Uh, okay. Or he being a will willing participant to be sacrificed. Who knows, okay. Because it's always been about him and Brandy. Even he can't even get his wife straightened out because Brand is all up in his business along with the mama from what I hear. Don't know how true it is, but that's what I heard. So like I said, it's very strange. Very strange. Unless they were twins. And then you could see well maybe he's showing her that love and affection because that's his twin. I don't know. It's, it's a weird situation to me. It's kinda of making me feel creepy. Uh the relationship that they may have. Uh, somebody give me some enlightenment, you know, because right now I'm just like, I don't know. He seemed like a little angel of death running around now. Now he got hooked up to Whitney. I mean, oh, uh, what I Wendy. Two W's, two Whitney, Whitney. Mm. I don't know. I don't know about Ray J. I don't know. He don't look too kosher to me. But that's all I got for this video. If y'all like it, love it, got to have more, just do three things for me. Like, subscribe, and share my videos. That's all you have to do. And all of it's free. None time consuming as well. But I'll catch y'all next video. Take care. Bye-bye.